So it looks like Tamar Braxton's new and improved kind personality is over and done with. Because girl, the way she just read Tommy the filth, child, the old Tamar is back. And I just know that Tommy is wishing that she kept her mouth shut and stayed out of the drama because Tamar did not hold back. And honestly, it's tit for tat. Because why was Tommy inserting herself in a drama that did not belong to her in the first place? This whole drama started because of the Krishan situation where Tamar brought her on stage and Krishan Krishan ended up causing a very nasty scene at the show. Y'all know all that misunderstanding. Krishan saying she was to perform and Tamar's team saying she was a guest. Krishan getting angry and punching James Chanel Wright and all that talk of them suing Krishan. Tamar's friend Latroy was the first to speak on the issue and he wrote, just want to let y'all know that that girl Krishan, y'all keep hyping up, assaulted James Wright Chanel at Tamar's concert tonight. James is in the hospital. I swear I would do everything to make sure she goes to prison. She is trash and that's why her life is the way it is. She deserves every bad thing that happens to her. He continued, that lady is a disgusting pig and I'm going to make sure she goes to jail. You do not come to my show and attack people. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure she pays for assaulting James. She's going to prison. I am so disgusted. This was when people started talking about how Tamar was probably trying to use Krishan for clout and attention. It's hard to deny that Krishan always manages to grab the attention of the public even though it's mostly through her messy actions like this. But she always manages to get talked about. Krishan also leaned into this when she accused Tamar and her team of using her for clout. I don't know what was miscommunicated or what was plotted against me, but I was supposed to perform. And that was that. There's other false narratives saying this happened, she did that. I don't know what that, I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I, I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So, um, it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh, it was some other shit like James then countered her when he went live to reveal that not only had Krishan broken his nose, but she also broke his tooth and he had to get it fixed. I am at the dentist right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed and that's what's happening right now. Tamar then went live to tell her side of the story and denied that she was trying to use Krishan for clout, saying that she had been trying to show Krishan some love because they were both from Baltimore and she wanted to give Krishan the chance to better herself. I knew that she was rowdy, you know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions and I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing. It was at this point that Tommy Lee jumped into the situation and accused Tamar of lying about not chasing clout, saying, I just wonder, would this one, not all this rest, but if she wasn't there, would this one have been this viral? Remember the question when you respond. Well, this made Tamar mad and she read her to filth, say, and before someone takes my phone, if you on C and your name starts with a T and you never even sold out a bag of blow pops, stay silent. God bless y'all. Let me and my team heal from this trauma in peace. Tommy clearly wanted the smoke because she went on to to say gotta address me for it to hit Muppet baby nothing a B say applies to me anyway so I don't be moved at all I can't even ask a question without people getting into a frenzy don't flatter yourself mama be glad I noticed well Tamar was more than happy to give her the smoke and she wrote so now y'all want me to address out of work reality stars never me and my Muppet employed self will keep you on the list if I need a non-fighting sea head for 2500 an episode for one of these shows of mine I'm casting Asking for. We not the same. Go sell some butt for your next hit. I'm finna come with my next hit. Ooh, she really went in and child Tommy had no clap back for this. And that's how you know that she was super hurt by Tamar's words. And it looks like Tamar was telling the truth about her not using Krishan for clout because new footage from the concert just went viral on social media. And we can clearly see that Tamar was getting frustrated with Krishan's antics and was trying to get Krishan off the stage. You can clearly see her mouth. I'm done before walking off and then Latroy steps in to talk to the crowd. So Tommy's claims about Tamar wanting clout were just off and that's why Tamar read her for Phil. People felt different types of ways about this and they left comments saying, I'm sorry but Tamar read a hole in the side of Tommy's head and rightfully so. Tommy 
Kylie was in TSR comments defending Assault slash Krishan, which alone ought to tell you that if Tommy Lee is defending your actions, you're for sure in the wrong. I don't know why Tamar more mad at Tommy than Krishan. Tommy's right. Y'all in efforts to pose who's popping and got more drama than who's really talent. We all seen Krishan and Blueface firsthand to the world. I think Tamar knew what she was doing when she brought Krishan. And Tamar said, if your name starts with T and you do C, our good sis called out the whole industry with that one. But Tommy should have just sat there and ate her food. It's the drama for me, but I want to know what y'all think about this. Do you think that Tommy made sense or was she just looking for attention? Also, do you believe that Tamar tried to use Krishan for clout? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.